It's the best season of all time for me. And they kind of came back there in the, the first half. You guys had, had extended it, and then they came back. What was going on there? Man, I don't want to point any fingers, but we got to do a better job. Uh, when we start when we start off like that, we got to continue. We can't just sit back. Oh, because we came and punched them in the face. Like They're going to they're gonna throw some punches back, so we just got to continue with those punches, if that makes sense. What's Coach's message after the game? I'll uh, go back, relax, think about the game. Oh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. A lot more simple than I'm used to. Coach B line, the guru. The pace seemed faster. Yeah. Any adjustments for you? Uh, no, I mean, I came from a high school and I just my whole life I played fast. Um, I got here and had to adjust under a different a different coach that I've played my whole life. And now Coach Howard told me, let's run again. Kind of yells at us sometimes, we don't take, take quick shots. I'm like, that's, that's a little bit different than what we're used to, Coach, but it's going to take some time. Um, we all think about uh, John Beeline teams shooting a lot of three pointers, but 31 tonight. Is that normal for you guys in practice? Uh, yeah, I mean, we got a good, we got some good guards that get get two feet in the paint, and our obviously our centers that post up are going to find us on the perimeter. But they did a good job. I, want, I would like to know how many times Xavier got to the basket and passed it out because those things are overlooked because that creates my shot. Eli obviously <clears throat> excuse me, contributed a double-double today. What are your thoughts on this game? Time to tell people, man. Eli Brooks, man. <laughs> he's on the radar. Eli, he's been great since the first day of practice. He came in with this attitude. He, he, knew, he knew what spot he wanted to go get, and obviously he, he showed. It was like his welcoming party. Were you guys pretty happy with the uh, defensive performance tonight? Uh, not really. I think they shot too high of a percentage. They didn't shoot too high of a percentage for three, but no – they're getting to the basket way too easily, so I assume tomorrow we're going to be doing some lane slides, and uh, we're going to try to prevent Appalachian State from getting to the basket as much as they did. Apologies if you've been asked this already, but what did you make of tonight's pace of play? Uh, it was quick, quicker than a lot of guys here are used to, but you know, it's the game we want to play. It's the game Coach Howard's prepared us to play, and I think everybody's comfortable at it. <laughs> From what I see, everybody looks comfortable and loves playing that way. Mm -hmm. A lot of long outlet passes tonight. Oh, yeah. uh, one to Xavier in your half court, threw it up two for the lob. How comfortable do you feel right now playing at a pace that fast, or is it something you feel like you have to grow into? Man, I, I, I've, like I said, I, I knew I'm bad. I came from a high school we were in, from this high school coach, Randy Nichols, who influenced fast, fast paced game. Uh -huh. Get back, get some stops, fast paced game. Get, get back, subs, everybody get in. You know, we got, we got man after man. And, this team, we're kind of we're kind of deeper than people what people think, and I think that's going to go a long way without basketball. You guys started the second half on a 26-10 run. What was your uh, mindset coming out of the locker room? Oh, we got got yelled at halftime, so <laughs> we had we had to come out and do something. Where Coach Howard was going to grab us up. Can you share any of what he said at halftime? Uh, he said they're just getting to the basket too easy. Uh, they only had five attempts from the three-point line. Everything else, oh, I think 24 of 29 points were from two guys, so we had to focus on those two guys and shut them down, which we did in the second half, which created a, a bigger lead. A lot of sophomores kind of got some first extended playing time. What did you see from them and how much they've grown kind of the sophomores? I think exhibition and early games are most important for rising sophomores, as I call them, because they didn't get as much experience as the veteran guys did, and it's good for Brandon, Colin, Dave, Adrian, even Eli. I mean, he had a shaky late second half and second half of the season last year, and just for them to get out there, just the fans cheering, you know, you get getting that shot. It's kind of like practice, but it's just with the crowd. You think that you think they play?